Hi, in this video we're looking at something called Avogadro's Law. Now, Avogadro's Law relates volume to the amount of the gas. And in chemistry we measure amounts of substances in usually moles, because that's how many of the particles of a sample are present. Um, this one's real simple. Uh, it's kind of common sense. If I was to take a balloon and blow it up partway, I'd have a certain volume and a certain amount of moles of probably carbon dioxide primarily. And then to that same balloon, if I was to add more exhalation to that, more air, carbon dioxide, whatever, uh, the volume should increase because I've added more amount. This is essentially what Avogadro's law is saying, saying that volume and moles are directly related to each other. They're proportionately increasing or proportionately decreasing. And this algebraic uh, representation matches that uh, relationship as volume increases the amount of moles which is what n is also has to increase and as one decreases the other will have to decrease as well so let's do a quick example problem it says if 0 0.950 moles of o2 has a volume of 20 liters at some temperature and pressure what would be the volume of 1.350 moles of o2 well these two pieces of information go together on the same side so let's set this as N1 and this as V1. So I'm going to plug this in. 20.0 liters on top, 0 0.950 moles on the bottom. On the right side, I'm going to have this 1.350 moles. And V2 is what I'm looking for. At this point, I want to cross multiply. So 20 times 1.35 and then divide by 0.95. Uh, that gives me a new volume, which if you think about this logically, my amount of moles has increased. My new volume should therefore increase. Uh, that's going to be 28.4 uh, liters. I want to match three significant figures. This has three sig figs, so does that, and this has four. So I want to go with the lowest amount always. So 28.4 liters is the, uh, the right answer for that. So that's it. Pretty simple, actually. Avogadro's Law. Volume is directly proportional to the amount of moles of a gas. Thank you.